Uh, some of you see physical therapy student. Can I check your name and date of birth, please? Sure, it's Joe Smith, 1995. Great, can I check on your wrist? Thank you. So we're gonna make sure the patient is on one edge of the bed. We're going to have the patient slightly bend their arm and place it above their head. And then we're gonna roll the patient onto a sideline position while lower extremities are partially flexed. We are now going to explain the procedure to the patient. All right, so I'm gonna help you sit up today. So what I'm gonna do is place my one arm on the shoulder and find my other arm under your trunk here. And with this arm, I'm gonna have you push up when I start lifting your trunk up, and as you push up, I'm gonna swing your legs onto the side of the table, all right? Sounds good. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. All right, all so right. on the count of three. We're gonna have the patient turn their head to look in the direction of movement. Place your arm across the upper part of the back, grasping the shoulder furthest from you. On the count of three with the opposite arm, elevate the trunk and pivot the patient's legs over the side of the bed into a sitting position. On the count of three, one, two, three. During the lift, elevate the trunk by lifting under the shoulders and instruct patients to push up using one or both of their arms. Make sure patient is on the edge of the bed or mat. Roll patient onto a sideline position. The physical therapist will partially flex the patient's lower extremities. Explain the procedure to the patient. All right, we're gonna have to sit you up here. So when I move your legs and have you use your upper body here, push yourself up to your trunk. Just go ahead and catch yourself here in the neck. So what just happened is that we directed the patient to independently push up with their upper extremities while the therapist directs the legs into a sitting position. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, got to push up. Instruct the patient to move towards one edge of the bed or mat. Leave enough room for sufficient sideline position. Patient rolls to a sideline position and flexes hips and knees to maintain this position briefly. Explain the procedure to the patient. Push up on this table, push up with your upper body, and then swing your legs around to the side. Position the hand of the uppermost extremity on the bed or mat at the mid chest level. The patient pushes up with the upper extremity to raise the trunk and maintains this position by resting on the elbow and forearm of the lowermost upper extremity. Elevate the trunk by pushing up with both upper extremities to a side sitting position. Lower extremities can be pivoted simultaneously over the edge of the bed or mat. Before we begin, the PT will explain the procedure to the patient. They will instruct the patient to flex their hip and knees while their feet are flat on the bed or mat. The upper extremities are slightly abducted with the shoulder internally rotated and the hands rested on the bed or mat. The patient lifts the head and pushes with the upper extremities to elevate the trunk using a tripod support with the hands placed on the bed or mat behind the hips with the elbows extended. Alternating moving the hands forward, they can attain a sitting position. The patient can then pivot the lower extremities over the edge of the bed. All right, so you're gonna sit up with the assisted wave to release that uh, pressure on your back. So we're gonna have you bend your knees. And put your arms out to the side. There you go. And then next, you're going to raise your head and push up with your arms into a seated position. Great. Now walk it forward. And then you can pivot your legs over the side. Hi there, my name is Tess. I'm a UC physical therapy student. Can I get your name and full date of birth, please? Sure, it's Joe Smith, January 1st, 1999. Awesome, can I check on your wrist? All right, thank you. All right, so we're going to move the patient to one edge of the bed. Wait, we're not going to do that one. <laughs> what? We're not going to do that one. Dependent? 
No, moving to the edge of the bed. To one edge of the bed? Just say, um, he's out. Bruh.